like it. Mm, I don't like it. I have goose. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. <laughs> don't shoot him again. No, he's gonna shoot him again. It's fine, Natalie. It's fine. I got punch him. Just give him one punch. Just one punch. He deserves it. Trust me. That's kind of how the Targaryens do. <laughs> so. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are getting into Game of Thrones Season 7. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are getting into Game of Thrones Season 7, and I cannot believe how fast this show is flying by. We literally only have two seasons left, and those seasons are shorter than the rest of the seasons in the show, so that's pretty crazy. We're getting really close to the episode that I remember <laughs> having seen. Um, the more and more that I remember that episode and as we're getting closer and closer to that point in the timeline, I'm really starting to realize that that episode was such a crucial episode uh, and a really climactic one. And th the fact that I happened to see it is just really unlucky. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do about it. I can't go back in time. Uh, I had no idea I was gonna be reacting to movies and shows here on YouTube. So it is what it is, but I'm really excited to see what happens in this season. I feel like a lot happened in the last season. We saw a lot of characters get karma come their way. Characters like Ramsey and Walter Frey and even Master Pycelle. I, although I, I'm still confused about why he died that way? I don't know. Couldn't they have just fired him? <laughs> Why did we have to have a bunch of little kids stab him to death? That was kind of crazy. A lot of people died in King's Landing, Tommen included. Cersei is now the queen, which I find kind of strange considering how she just murdered most of King's Landing. And I think all the things that she was doing in terms of her control seem to be fed by her desire to protect her children. So. It seems pretty interesting that she'd even want to be queen. I almost feel like, wouldn't she want to just flee and live out her days in Casterly Rock? I'll be interested to see what she does now that she's on the throne and what happens, because I can't imagine a lot of people want to fight for her. <laughs> I hope we get to see Arya in this season finally make it to Winterfell. Although I think Cersei, actually bringing it back to her, is on Arya's list. So maybe she won't be making it to Winterfell right now. Maybe she'll be making it to King's Landing trying to get some vengeance. I don't know. Last season definitely felt like a bit of a departure for me from all the previous seasons in terms of the writing and the plot and the characters. It definitely felt very different and I enjoyed it overall, but I definitely had some issues with certain episodes and I know a lot of you guys might have noticed that. I really do my best to be as objective as I possibly can when reacting to these episodes. I don't uh, read a ton of the comments when it comes to Game of Thrones videos because I don't want my opinion to be affected or to accidentally read a spoiler. And ultimately, these are just my first impressions and opinions do change over time. Um, but yeah, there were definitely some episodes that I didn't love in the last season, but that I definitely liked them as we got more towards the end of the season. I really liked uh, the production value. That just was insane to me, especially with episode nine. Was it nine where that battle took place at Winterfell? Whichever episode it was where uh, John was battling Ramsay for Winterfell, that was absolutely insane. <laughs> the way they shot that was so crazy to me. Um, in every In every capacity, the cinematography, the filmmaking of it, the direction of it, the sound design, all the horses. <laughs> it was wild. Really have been enjoying the cinematography as well as the sound design for the last season. It really does feel like the production quality just keeps getting better and better and better for each season. I'm really excited though to hop on into this season and see what it has in store. But before we do, I just want to quickly mention that I do have a Patreon page for those of you massive Game of Thrones fans who maybe want to catch my full length reactions to these episodes. I always link my Patreon in the description bar down below. And I'm very ahead over there on everything, but especially Game of Thrones. So if you like seeing these full length reactions earlier than you get the edited videos over here on YouTube, uh, I'm pretty much done with season seven, I think, at this point over there. Close to it, um, I'll leave a little text overlay saying exactly where I'm at at this point, but um, I'm very ahead. So if you're interested in that, make sure to click that link down below. But all in all, 
I am ready to just hop on into this season and see what happens. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. Wait, why are we... Is Arya pretending to be Walder Frey now because she killed him? She's acting like Walder f***ing Frey. Holy shit. What is she going to do? Well, it's no good being Lord of the Riverlands if you can't celebrate with your family. That's what I say. Wow, he never says stuff like this. They must be surprised because she's going to kill you all. <laughs> Does she poison them all? I bet she just poisoned the wine. That's the easiest way to do it. Not you. Oh, yeah. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn woman. Don't worry, honey. Trust me. She's protecting you. <sighs> Slaughtered your guests after inviting them into your home. Ah, uh, oh, they're starting to choke. You didn't slaughter every one of the Starks. Nope. Ha 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 Leave one wolf alive and the sheep are never safe. Oh, oh, I love this. Wow, what kind of poison did she use? They're coughing up like, looks like coagulated blood. Ugh. Yes. It's interesting, it's not just faces. The hands look old too, you know? Tell them. Winter came for House Frey. Wow, this is how we're starting the season. She's gonna kill a lot of people, isn't she? <laughs> oh, are we north of the wall? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't wanna see it. Oh no, what is that? Is that a cloud of zombies? Mm, I don't like it, mm, I don't like it. I have goosebumps. <laughs> mm, makes me uncomfy, I don't like it. No, please stop. <laughs> ah! You know, it's like Walking Dead plus a winter tundra. It's really just two nightmares in one. Oh, they have a giant. That's great. They have multiple giants. That's great. I thought that they burned the bodies after... Oh, well, no. There were... They got all the wildlings, right? They're opening the gate for them. That's good. Oh, Ed. Ed, they're coming, Ed. I think you guys should desert Castle Black. The Umbers and the Car Starks have fought beside the Starks for centuries. Oh, he's gonna forgive them. Give the castles to the families of the men who died fighting for you. Oh boy. John is so eager to forgive and forget, you know. And my decision is fine. All right, well, okay. There's some tension between the siblings that aren't really siblings. <laughs> They're more like cousins. John's right though, he really needs every living man he can. Like, if this was a different time, if we weren't fighting zombies, maybe you could punish him. But like, you really need everybody to be alive. You can't kill all these people and kick them out of their homes because they'll just become zombies. You're good at this, you know. At what? At ruling. Yeah, maybe he's a Targaryen. It comes kind of natural to him. Maybe that's his daddy, I don't know. Daenerys Targaryen has chosen Tyrion to be her hand. Oh, how does she know this? The one you love so much. Oh boy, just gonna throw that in his face now. Oh, Lena, the old Oh. Not the traitor. Oh yeah, what a traitor she is. You murdered her grandkids, you psychopath! What do you expect her to do? I understand whoever wins could launch a dynasty that lasts a thousand years. A dynasty for whom? Right, you have no kids. Yeah, Jamie's like, what are we doing here? We never talked about Tom. Yeah, oh. Oh, she goes right to the wine, how subtle. <laughs> Good coping skills. He betrayed you? Jesus Christ. That doesn't make a lot of sense considering all she's ever cared about this whole series has been her kids. We can't win this war alone. I think I listened to father for 40 years and learned nothing. Well, okay, but who are gonna be your allies? Oh, is it gonna be Euron? The great joys. Ah, yep. What did he come here for then? A queen. Oh, to marry her? Oh boy, oh boy. Jamie, Jamie's gotta be like, why the f did I come back here, damn it? Ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, he's gonna pretend like she's the most beautiful woman in the world? In my experience, the surest way to a woman's heart is with a gift. Oh God, what's the gift? I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. But is he claiming to go get Tyrion? Is he claiming to go get Tyrion? I bet that's what he's claiming to do. Oh, we're back in the Citadel. Well, they definitely accepted him. He's got the outfit now. Oh, they have to stay here. Interesting. Is that a bedpan? Oh, this is the hospital. Oh, what a what a fun job. Has he ever, has he gotten a chance to read anything? I bet they're just working him to death and not letting him study. The war has stood through it all and every winter that ever came has ended. Right. But what if the White Walkers figure out a way to take down the wall? That is a great way of looking at the world though, you know? Like the older you are, the more th that you've seen and you've seen cycles of the world, you're wiser. Gives you faith that, you know, the world will keep on turning. 
Oh no, I feel like he's gonna get kicked out of the Citadel. I hope he doesn't get caught. Oh, he's gonna steal it. He's just gonna steal the books? Oh God, I guess that makes sense. He can't just hang out in there forever. What do you want, Lord Baelish? Why are you hanging out with Baelish, Sansa? Stop letting him talk to you and get in your head. I want you to be happy. No, he doesn't. I want you to be safe. No, he doesn't. No need to seize the last word, Lord Baelish. <laughs> I'll assume it was something clever. <laughs> I love how what a she turned into. She turned into such a bad <laughs> Sansa. <laughs> like truly, over the last like season, she's just become like so sassy. Down from Mr. Oh, wow, what a beautiful sight this is. Oh my god, the light coming through the trees and the creek. She was his shame. Oh, that's Ed Sheeran! That's totally Ed Sheeran, because I heard he was in a Game of Thrones episode, yeah. Of course, they make him sing for the episode he's in. You heading south? King's Landing. Oh, she is heading to King's Landing. I'm going to kill the queen. <gasps> oh, she's being honest with them. Holy shit. I can't believe she's being honest with them. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad they all just left. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, the hound! This seems like a good place to spend the night. This is who he stole from, isn't it? This is totally that father and daughter he stole from. I don't think he's gonna be welcome here, if they are here. <gasps> oh my God. You, you should burn the skeletons. Again, come over here. Oh, they're gonna make him look into the fire and he's scared of fire too. It's my f***ing luck I end up with a band of fireworks. <laughs> I like that they keep him around even though he keeps talking them and demeaning them. It's like funny. They just find it humorous. It doesn't bother them at all. I love it. Oh, he's seeing something. There's a mountain. Looks like an arrowhead. The day they're marching past. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Poor Clegane. He's like, I, I just wanted to be a cynic, damn it. Oh, he's burying them, isn't he? You should just burn their bodies, Clegane. Trust me. It's better that way. I don't know. I'm so scared. I know that Night Walker, White Walkers, or whatever, aren't here, but I just am always scared that dead bodies are going to come back to life. And okay, no, he he didn't really know them well, but he stole from them, and that's why they're dead. So this is the right. This, this is what he has to do. Is he going to help? Oh, that's nice. I'm still so scared. I'm still so scared. Like I don't know why. I shouldn't be. Like there's peaceful, beautiful, sentimental music, and yet I'm terrified that a zombie thing is about to happen. It's fine, Natalie, it's fine, my God. Where is that? That looks familiar. Is that the Citadel? Are we in Old Town? This is Old Town, isn't it? It's a map of Dragonstone. Is that, are there a bunch of dragon glass there? I bet there is. That's dragon glass. A mountain of it. Oh! John needs to know. I worry that Sam's gonna get in trouble for stealing those books. Why are we close up on this? Something spooky gonna happen? <laughs> what the f Has she come yet? Jora, why is he in? Why is he in there? He went to the Maesters to try to get help. Oh, his arm got so much worse. Oh, he's not gonna get better, is he? Did these poor dragons have to fly all this way? Cause they probably are too big to take a break on the boats. And this is her home. This is what she remembers, huh? This is one of the longest like through lines of the whole series is her trying to get home, you know? Took her such a long time to get here. Although that's a long way to walk. <laughs> I was just imagining like you go out to get groceries and you come back and you have <laughs> to schlep groceries up that. <laughs> oh wow, the room where Stannis was planning everything. <gasps> oh my God. Shall we begin? Ah. Again, great sound design, great production. Wow. Poor Sir Jorah. <laughs> oh no. Forgive me my queen. A red priestess from Ashai has <gasps> come to see you. Melisandre? Oh, holy I believe you have a role to play, as yeah. does another. Jon Snow. The king in the north. Yes. Jon Snow. Yeah, you two should definitely work together. But I like Jon Snow, and I trusted him. Yeah, he's a good boy. And I am an excellent judge of mm -hmm. care. That's true. I like how he has to comment that. I, remember, I'm really good at judging people. <laughs> Send a raven north. Wow, all of these houses are just gonna unite against Cersei. I think it's really tearing. All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. Oh yeah, that's what some, That's what Tyrion said to Jon. Wow, it's not a trap. I know it sounds like it, but it's really not. Oh, Melisandre's there though. Oh, Sir Jorah. It's progressed so fast already though. Your mind? Yeah. Six months. <gasps> that's it, Jesus Christ. Oh, Sir Jorah. Elerion the Dread. Whoa, wow. Look at that, that's, 
That's like, Drogon's almost that big. I really am gonna be bummed if one of her dragons dies from Cersei's hands. Pull that lever. Oh, don't crack open the, the skull of Beleriand. Please don't. That's a, that's a relic. That's an artifact. Really? It's a beautiful skull. We had to do that? It was history. Not that they care. If we besiege the city with foreigners, we prove her point. Hmm, that's smart, but they're building weapons specifically targeting your dragons. The Unsullied will have another objective. Oh? What is that? Tyrion, do tell. Is Casterly Rock. Oh, they're gonna take Casterly Rock. Holy <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna piss him off. That makes Lady Olena happy. Look at Tyrion undermining his own family. I love it. They deserve it. They never treated him right. Except for Jamie. I may have found a way to treat Sajora. What? How? If Sam fixes him, Sam is a genius. Procedure's far too dangerous, which is why it's now forbidden. Well, if it's the- he's gonna die anyway, you might as well try it. Ask Sir Jorah if he wants to go for it. Is Sam gonna do this without approval? Oh my god, he's gonna do it. You're not dying today, Sir Jorah. What is it? Rum. Drink it all, please. I'm afraid this is gone to hurt. I wonder what the f***ing cure is. Is it just like peeling the skin off? Oh, he's gonna take a sip too. That's great. <laughs> That's how I look if I had to drink rum. Ugh. If you could take off your shirt. <gasps> the procedure is going to be peeling it off of his skin, isn't it? I'm going to have to remove the entire upper of infected tissue, then apply a medicinal ointment to the. He's like, don't tell me. Oh, I don't want to see this. As happy as I am that Sam is trying to do something for Sir Jorah, I really. Oh no, we got a close up. Oh, oh god. I, I don't think I could do this without screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the pus. Oh, the art design. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Oh, my gag reflex. Oh, you're doing great, Jorah. You're doing great. Ah! Oh, is that food now? What the f***? What a cut. Oh, what an edit. Ugh. Gross. Harry. Oh, hot pie. She's not even phased. She was like, yeah, I remember you were here. Don't worry. I thought you'd be in for Winterfell. Why would I go without the bones of it? No, they don't anymore. The bones are dead. Yeah. Oh my God, even Hot Pie knows everything and she doesn't. She's gonna turn around, isn't she? She's gonna go right back to Winterfell, isn't she? Try not to get killed. No, I won't. I'm like you, Harry. I'm a survivor. <laughs> She's like, no, you're not, but okay. <laughs> Aww. She, is she gonna turn around? Go to Winterfell. Maybe she'll go to King's Landing. I don't know. Is she gonna turn around? She's gonna turn around. Yeah! Yes, that's the right move, Arya. Let somebody else get Cersei. Or you can get her later. Who cares? It's better to go home. Ah, oh, yes. This message was sent to me by Samuel Tarly. Oh, is John about to leave on some mission right before Arya gets here? To meet with Daenerys, and I'm going to accept. Sansa's so pissed that he keeps not following her advice, but ugh, I don't think... It's not a trap, Sansa. You just gotta calm down. So Davos and I will ride for White Harbor tomorrow. Oh, come on. Arya's on her way to you. I know it's a risk, but I have to take it. You're abandoning your people. Sansa. Until I return, the North is yours. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> I mean, I think that's all he can do. Jeez, man. John's constantly got to fight with people to do things. Once I kill my uncle. Oh, God, she's going to flirt with him. Oh, and he's like, oh, poor Theon. Why are you standing all the way over there, then? Oh, poor Theon. He's like, I can't do this. I can't participate in the way I want to. And also, it's his sister. It's just weird. Oh, f it's Euron, isn't it? Yep, it's f Euron. This is great. This is so bad. How did he find them? Oh, he just crushed someone with that. That's fun. Oh, this is horrible. Although I'm sure this was a lot of fun to film. Like, what a cool set. Oh, are the Dornish women gonna get involved? Good job. This is like the first time I've really rooted for those Dornish women. Oh no. Oh no, she's gonna die too, isn't she? Everybody's are just really good fighters. Oh no, her own whip is gonna choke her. Oh God, this is horrible. This is so bad. Where's Theon? Oh God. Whoa! Jesus Christ, where is that coming from? Those balls of fire. Oh, Yara's gonna die, isn't she? Oh Jesus Christ. Come and get her. Oh, come on, Theon. Theon! Jesus Christ. He's gonna run away? Oh, no. Man, you know, Theon had changed so much. I don't like that. What a regression. 
This is horrible. So many of their ships were all of like their ships were just taken down. It's horrible, man. How did they even find them? <laughs> Oh, John! Wow, they were all ready for his arrival. Like they knew this was the time. They, I miss. I guess they saw the ship out at sea. That makes sense. If you wouldn't mind handing over your weapons. Oh, she doesn't trust him. It's kind of sketchy, is it not? He he might be thinking this might be a trap. He might be concerned. You know, because Sansa was worried it was a trap. I'd be a little concerned at this point. I wonder if he has a little dagger hidden on him somewhere. I feel like a guy like John would always have something hidden on him. But I'm not a Stark. <laughs> Oh, not technically, no. I thought, I forgot. He might be a Targaryen. Is that what that dragon was insinuating? Foreshadowing is that he's actually a Targaryen? Because that's what I think. Unless he's a Baratheon. I don't know. He's something. I think he's a Targaryen. The mother of dragons. The Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea. It's a long list. Burnt. The breaker of chains. He's probably like, what do we, what do we kneel? What do we do? This is Jon Snow. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> His title's a lot shorter. He's a simple man. So I assume, my lord, you're here to bend the knee. You know, a little condescending, Daenerys. I am not. Yeah, he came to figure out what you want. Your father burned my grandfather alive. He would have burned the Seven Kingdoms. My kingdom. father was an evil man. Yeah, maybe you should have led with this apology. Yeah, you probably should have led with this, Daenerys. The dead are the enemy. The dead? Yeah. Is that another figure of speech? No, it's not. He's really telling the truth. The world hadn't seen a dragon in centuries until my children were born. Well, yeah, exactly. Maybe because you have dragons, you should believe that there's an army of the dead? I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. Okay. And I will. Okay. He doesn't want to rule the Iron Throne. He just wants to save all the living people. By declaring yourself king of the northernmost kingdom, you are in open rebellion. Oh, come on. This is such a waste of time. That didn't go as well as I hoped, but to be fair, she kind of started off really cocky and uh, John has bigger things to worry about. I understand that she's fought so hard for all this, but she should have started with the apology on behalf of her father. Hilaria and the Sand Snakes dead or captured. The Greyjoys yep. dead or captured. No, Theon's alive. He fled like a coward. Nope, not Theon. There he is. Who are these guys? Who ca captured him? Oh boy. Oh no, was he captured by his own people? Wow. I couldn't save her. I tried. No, you didn't. That's a lie. You wouldn't be here if you tried. Yeah, they know better. Oh boy, Cersei's so excited to have her hands on... Oh, the mountain. She Right, she wants revenge. I bet Cersei's gonna sick the mountain on this woman's daughter first. That's gonna be her form of torture. Because this is her only daughter. Oh no, that's what she's gonna do. I can't imagine how that feels unless you've lost a child. Oh no. That's what she's gonna do. Oh, I really do empathize with Cersei. She's lost all her kids, but the last one, Tommen, was all on her. It was her fault. <laughs> did she just poison her? Is that what she did? Mama. <laughs> yeah, she killed her the same way. She killed her the same way. Wow. She did it the exact... This is fair. Yeah, I don't feel bad for you, ladies. You you killed an innocent girl. I, I You deserve this. You will live to watch your daughter. <gasps> oh, f Christ, she's gonna let her rot here. Oh God. Oh, that's horrible. That's a bit, that's a bit extra. Wow. I do feel bad, but uh, she deserves it. Sorry. Although being left in a room to rot with your dead daughter is extra despicable. I named them for my brothers, for Sarah and Rhaegar. I always forget that Rhaegar was her brother, not like an uncle. I bet he's Rhaegar's son. That's my guess, but I don't know. And that these two are related. I will allow you to mine the dragon glass and forge weapons from it. Wow. Generous. Now we're back at Winterfell. Ugh. Why is he lingering all around? Lady Sansa, at the gate. Oh God, what is it? Wait, is it Arya? What if it's Arya? Is it 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 Arya? It has to be Arya. It has to be Arya. Oh, it's Bran. Oh, close enough. I just wanted it to be a sibling. Bran, are you not gonna hug her back? What's going on here? Your arms work, dude. What the f That's rude. You're Lord of Winterfell now. I can never be Lord of anything. I'm the Three-Eyed Raven. Because oh, he's the Three-Eyed Raven? Oh, okay. All right. I guess it's... I don't know what that means. Yeah, no one knows what it means, honey. I, I still don't even know what it means, really. It means I can see everything. Everything that's ever happened. 
to everyone. It's a big burden to bear. Is that why he's so moody and serious? The three-eyed raven taught me. So you were the three-eyed raven. <laughs> I told you it's difficult to explain. And it's really not that hard. You could just say somebody else was the three-eyed raven and then he died. So now I'm the three-eyed raven. It's not that hard. It's like being a vice president. Man, all these siblings are so different now. They've all been through such different things. Like Ari is going to be different too. <gasps> is he healing? The infection no longer appears to be active. Unusual. Yeah, Sam definitely went behind your back. I just started feeling better. <laughs> and the climate. The climate? <laughs> You're free to go, sir. Charlie, I'd like to speak with you in my study this evening. Oh, damn it. He's gonna get in trouble. I'm so happy Sir Jewel is alive! I can't believe he's alive. I really thought he would die. Who told you to treat him? No one. But he did the right thing, damn it! I forbade it died. because it is dangerous and rarely successful. Well, who cares if it's dangerous? He would have died anyway. He would have died anyway. Could have Doesn't infected matter. yourself and others. Oh, well, I guess he could have infected himself. Yeah. Many maesters whose chains are heavy with healing links have attempted it and failed. Wow, Sam, smarty pants. That man is alive because of you. You should be proud. Oh, I like this guy. I like that he's not punishing Sam. He's just like, good job. Are they gonna let him read the books he needs to read now? All these manuscripts and scrolls are rotting away. I need you to make copies of them. <laughs> Oh, he did get a little punished. Okay. Your reward is not being immediately expelled from the Citadel. Yeah, that's fair. Your reward is being congratulated. Now it's time to get back to work. The gates of Custody Rock are impregnable. So what's the tactic we're taking then? Does he know a weakness? But he didn't build the sewers. Oh, who, who built the sewers? Me. Ha. So he'd sneak him in through the sewers. So I threw in something for myself. A little walkway. Ah! Love Tyrion, man. And no one knows about it but him and the woman he snuck in. Wow. In Castlenesco, Sidri Hibesi. Oh, where are they hiding? Oh no. What's happening? Are you fing kidding me? They surrounded them while they were Are you kidding me? Oh, Euron came. Oh, goody. Why why can Euron just get around all the time? Where are the rest of the Lannisters? Oh, where are they going? Where are they marching? Are they marching north? Man, I'm shocked Braun is still alive at this point. It's so interesting too, like Braun is now Jamie's right hand man. He used to be Tyrion's right hand man, and now Tyrion and Jamie are on opposing sides. It's just so crazy. Oh! With the Tyrells. Oh. Oh, grandmother Tyrell, you're screwed. Is she just gonna kill herself? Oh, they don't really have an impenetrable force in force. Impen impenetrable whatever. They don't <laughs> They don't have a good army. I feel like I would, oh, she's alive. I feel like I would be dead before I'd let Cersei get her hands on me, to be honest. But your sister has done things yeah. I was incapable of imagining. Right, like mur mass murder exploding, but blowing up a building. She's a monster, you do know that. To you, I'm sure. No, she's a monster to most people. She'll be the end of you. Yeah, I think she will too. I really think she will too. How will it happen? Cersei had several ideas. Oh, goody. I talked her out of those. Is he gonna do the deed? He's gonna kill her. Oh, he brought poison? Wow, that's so nice of him. Is that nicer than having your throat cut? I don't know. Poison can be really pa painful, but it seems like a nicer way to go. No. No? Really? I can't imagine that to be the truth. Wow, she really chugged it fast. I'd hate to die like your son. <gasps> Clawing at my neck. She's gonna admit it here. He's gonna stab you. Tell Cersei. I wanted to know it was me. Wow. I don't think he's gonna tell Cersei. I think he's gonna stab you. Wow, oh, he's just gonna let her go like that. Wow. Maester Welkin built it for me, so I can move around more easily. Oh! So she doesn't have to schlep you anymore? That's nice. You're leaving. Oh, she leaving? Oh. When they come, I need to be with my family. Oh, yeah, she does need to be with her family. This poor girl. You don't need me anymore. No, I don't. Okay, Bran. Why is he acting like this? Like, you become the three-eyed raven and you just become like an emotionless bag of... bag of nothing? I remember what it felt like to be Brandon Stark. But I remember so much else now. So the moment you become wise and all-knowing, you also become a d If you were all-knowing, you couldn't have just... Couldn't you just fake some emotion? Jeez. It's horrible, man. I wonder what his part is gonna be in all this. Oh my god, is Arya finally coming home? Yes! Uh, Tell Sansa her sister's home. 
Lady Sansa yeah. is too busy to waste a breath on you. Okay, tell her or she'll kill you. Man, she really always has to scrap her way. Everybody always thinks she's like a peasant girl because of the way she looks and dresses. Oh, she's home. She's home! After all these seasons, the last Stark has come home. This is a lot more meaningful to me because Arya never forgot who she was, you know? Oh, she already left. You guys lost her. Good job. I know where she is. Oh. Sansa and Arya are gonna reunite! And they never had a good relationship, but I'm really excited because they were the only sisters. Oh. Do I have to call you Lady Stark now? Yes. Oh, please. <laughs> Well, wow, Sansa's gotten to reunite with everybody. You need better guards. <laughs> oh, so awkward between them. It's been so many years. They say you killed Joffrey. However long my list got, he was always first. Your list? Of people I'm going to kill. Yeah, you don't know this, but your sister's a badass assassin, Sansa. <gasps> <laughs> She's like, ah, yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> How did you get back to Winterfell? Um, by becoming a badass assassin and surviving. Literally surviving. Bran's home too. But he's not Bran anymore. She's not happy about it. <laughs> Bran's home too. <laughs> she made his will have rolled her eyes. <laughs> yeah, you can hug him. He ain't gonna hug you back. He's an emotionless bump on a log. Oh, he actually put an arm around her. Wow. You saw me. I see quite a lot now. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's kind of hard to explain. You guys have all been on interesting journeys. How did they find the dragon glass? Have they just been searching around? Well, I guess Sam probably circled it on a map. Like, here, go to this place. I wonder how much of it. Oh, it's all in there. Wow. They got to be careful that they're not going to collapse this when they start hacking away at this inside of a cave. That it's not going to crush them. There is something else I want to show you, you Grace. Oh, what else is down here? Oh, boy. Whoa. Cave drawings. The children of the forest made these. Oh. Wow, even John knows about the children of the forest? They were here together, the children and the first men. Doing what? Fighting each other. They fought together. Oh, how convenient. Wow, that's a really accurate cave drawing. I gotta, that's pretty awesome. Are they gonna work together? I will fight for you. <gasps> Should you say, I'll fight for you and then you fight for me? When he bend the knee. Oh, John, do it. Do it. Come on, you can do it. John, do the right thing. Come on, it's gonna be fine. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? Yeah, you, he said the exact same thing to Mance. Holy shit. This is the conversation that he had with Mance. We took Costly Rock. But Euron's there. That's very good to hear. Uh. What do you think I should do? Oh, she's asking John. Holy shit. John is pretty good at war, even though he probably doesn't like that he is. But if you use them to melt castles and burn cities, you're not different. Yeah, that's true. Damn, it's a tough position she's in. You should burn Euron's ships. That's what you really should do, because they're the real problem. Don't go where your enemy leads you. Oh, is Arya going to watch them training? I love this. I love this. I want to train with you. Oh. I won't cut you. Don't worry. Oh. I'll try not to. <laughs> oh, she, she's so smug. I love it. Oh, she's having so much fun. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Sansa's like, who is my sister? <laughs> Who taught you how to do that? No one. No one, that's the answer. That's the right answer, technically. That's the right answer. <laughs> no one. <laughs> a good heart. I've noticed you're staring at a good heart. Oh no, God, if they like each other and he's a Targaryen, this is, it's gonna be awkward, but also that's kind of how the Targaryens do. <laughs> so maybe he's not a Targaryen, who knows? We'll find out eventually. Is that a Greyjoy ship? That must be the one ship left with Theon on it. I really wonder how Theon's gonna go out. Oh, <laughs> this is awkward because John knows what Theon did. Punch him, just give him one punch. Just one punch, he deserves it, trust me. Sansa, you see all right? <laughs> what you did for her. Oh, oh, he does know about, yeah. The queen is gone. Is she really gone? Did she take the dragons? Is she gonna burn the money cart? <laughs> How crazy would that be if she burns their whole army and burns? I mean, burning the grain stores would be bad because that food could be useful to someone, but oh, the gold, damn it, never mind. What? Does he sense something coming? Does he hear it? The dragons are totally coming, aren't they? Oh, the Dothraki are coming. Is she coming with the Dothraki and her dragons? All those spears and shields aren't gonna matter when you see the dragons. Although if the dragons burn the food, that's gonna be bad. Maybe she's just with the Dothraki, I don't know. 
Wow, these guys are really excited to fight. They're just whooping and hollering and yelling and cheering. There's a lot of them. Oh my God. And they're horse lords, so they got a lot of horses. Oh God, is Jamie gonna die like this? I don't think so. He can't die like this. Get back to King's Landing. Oh, Braun's telling him to go. Braun. Oh, is Braun gonna die like this? Braun's about to die. Isn't There's dragons. Yep, here we go. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Did she only bring one or did she bring all three? Because. Oh, you guys are f bro. You're f She's gonna burn all the food, though. That's the only risk you, you take. Like, you could, you could... I guess the whole point is to destroy their army, though. Oh, and they're just running through the flames like it's nothing. These other horses are like, we're, we're peacing out. We saw a dragon. We're not on board for this. Oh, we're doing this close-up battle sequence again. Ew. Oh, God. It's so intense when you see stuff like this. Oh, I guess she she's, do oh, she's doing it targeted like this. Okay, but she is burning the food. She's burning the food. You'd think that maybe you would try to save the food. Holy f She's savage. Some people need that. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. They're going to aim to shoot Drogon. Drogon, no, no. No! Oh, it did nothing. It did nothing. Spears are more effective than, than arrows. Arrows are nothing. Okay, thank God. I was so worried. Coming, scorpion is over there. Go get it then. Oh, the scorpion, the weapon is here. Oh no, they brought the weapon. Oh, they brought the weapon. Jamie, is Jamie gonna die? Is Braun gonna die? Is Drogon gonna die? I am so concerned. Oh my God, this is intense. The fire is really quite terrifying. Oh guys, I don't want Bronn to die, but I also really don't want Drogon to die. I'm having anxiety, you guys. I don't like this. Daenerys, get out of here. Get Drogon out of here. Oh, Tyrion came. He must know Jaime's down there. Drogon's gonna die. I feel sick to my stomach right now because I like know what's, I just can tell that he's gonna die and I hate it. Oh, I hate this. No, Daenerys, no. Get out of there now! You're gonna kill- you're gonna get your dragon killed. Oh, are they both gonna die? <laughs> no! Oh. No! No! <laughs> Don't shoot him again! No! He's gonna shoot him again! No, he's not. Oh, he destroyed the weapon. Okay. I feel like Drogon's gonna die. I'm so concerned. Maybe he's fine. Maybe it's just his arm. Maybe I need to really calm the f down. I just, maybe it's just his arm. Oh no, Jamie's gonna do it. Jamie's gonna do it. Jamie's gonna die. Jamie's gonna die. He's gonna try, he's gonna kill Drogon and then he's gonna die. Holy f Bronn saved his life. His, his golden arm is making him sink. Is that what's happening? Braun just saved his life. Is Braun alive? Guys, I am, I'm like so stressed out right now. Jamie almost killed Daenerys. I need to calm down thinking Drogon's gonna die. Braun just saved Jamie's life, but is Braun okay? Did Braun get burned alive or is he fine? Was it just the horse? I have so many questions. I'm so scared. Definitely noticing some new stylistic things emerging in this season, mainly with uh, the variation in cinematography, like bouncing back and forth between wide and close-ups in different ways than we we haven't really seen as much in past seasons, especially in the scene where John and Daenerys went to meet for the first time and when she was on the throne. We really just kept changing what perspective we were seeing of her, and sometimes we do this ultra-tight close-up, and um, things like that are really interesting um, just from a production standpoint to see how the production team plays and how the cinematography department is playing as they get more and more money, presumably, and more funding for the show. The production value has definitely only gone up as this show has progressed. Curious to see what happens. Uh, there's a lot of battles that have happened. It's really just a never-ending war constantly, this show. And this season, it's like even more. You know, the last season we got that one epic battle scene at Winterfell between the Boltons and the Wildlings. And now it's like I mean, we've had multiple battles, and some you didn't really see, you know, like we brushed over the one at Highgarden, and we kind of rushed through the one at Casterly Rock, but there's just a lot of fighting going on. I understand why they would brush through those battles just for production's sake, because that would be a nightmare to do that many battles in one season, and they're probably also preparing for the ultimate battle at Winterfell with Nightwalkers um, in the next season, so there's a lot financially that they have to prepare for, because those... those Scenes must cost so much money with all the extras and the effects and the blocking and the everything. <laughs> I 
Um, everything must just be so intense to do. I'll be interested to see what happens with Jamie. You know, he clearly survived, but I wonder, I wonder if Bronn survived? I feel like he did. My guess is that they'll be captured and um, held prisoner by Daenerys, but I don't know. That would be kind of funny to see like Tyrion and <laughs> Jamie finally reunite and Jamie will not probably be happy with Tyrion, but um, I don't know. I love them as brothers and I'm, I imagine there's gonna be a lot of tension there if we do see them interact with one another again. I'm happy that all the Starks are back at Winterfell. I will say it's a little strange that Bran is just completely different now. It makes it kind of sad. Like I didn't realize that just because you become wise and the three-eyed raven that now you lose all sense of who you used to be. And like, even though you have all those memories, you just, now you're just like this emotionless person. <laughs> <laughs> this bump on a log. It's kind of a bummer, but I'm really happy that Arya is back with Sansa. That was really sweet. I'll be interested to see what happens with them at Winterfell as well as Littlefinger. Curious to see what happens with Euron and Cersei and all these other characters. It definitely seems like a lot is happening in this season already. And uh, I wonder if we'll see Nightwalkers. Nightwalker. I always call them the wrong thing. Nightwalkers, White Walkers, Whites, Zombies. I don't know, okay? <laughs> I think whites and zombies are like the dead risen. And then I think it's white walkers, but then there's the night king, or maybe it's night walkers and there's the night king and white walkers is never a thing. I know people have told me this a million times, but I always forget. It's like something I cannot keep straight in my brain. It's so weird. There, there's certain things in this series that I have a hard time keeping straight in my brain. And I think part of that is because I'm scared to read a lot in the comments below and also about the show in general. Like I'll read certain things, but I really am terrified of spoilers. So I don't actually read a ton in the comments as well as um, just on the internet because I'm terrified because by this point, the show has been done for like years now or at least a couple years. So I, I'm, I'm scared <laughs> that I'll read like a massive spoiler. So to avoid all that, I just don't. So um, yeah, if I mix names up or I call things the wrong name, I apologize. It's I'm, I'm watching this show at a pretty fast rate, watching multiple episodes a week on Patreon. And uh, it, it, it is uh, a lot to process sometimes, but I'm enjoying it. I will say, I feel like I've reached a point though in the show where nothing is surprising anymore <laughs> because like so many horrible things have happened, so much double crossing that like you get to a point where you're just like, I mean, what could the writers do to surprise me? Like, it would be surprising if things just went well for a while. That that would surprise me. It would be surprising if, like, nobody died and everything just went well. But I don't think that that can happen. That doesn't make sense. So I'll be curious to see what the rest of this season has in store. I'm also excited uh, to see Bran meet up with John and have him tell him, presumably, I assume he's going to tell him who he is and who his parents were. I would... Love to know. I'm betting on Targaryen because I feel like that woman, she was up in the castle, kidnapped by Rhaegar, I believe it was. Uh, Ned's sister. Forget her name already. Lyanna. Lyanna. And she said, all I heard her say to Ned was don't tell Robert. So the only options are that it's Robert's son or it's Rhaegar's son but I would assume that if it's Robert's son why would she say don't tell Robert but he has black of hair and dark brown eyes and all the other Targaryens we've seen have been blonde AF he, I don't know there's a part of my brain that thinks he could be a Baratheon but then the other part of my brain is like nah he's a Stark or not a Stark sorry nah a Targaryen he is technically a Stark in this day and age because we count women too but not in this show I don't know I guess he could be a Baratheon or um, a Targaryen I don't really know if he's a Baratheon, that technically means he should be on the Iron Throne, although I don't think he wants that. I think he'd be perfectly happy to just rule the North. But he also is a really fair and honorable leader. I don't know. I kind of have a feeling that this show will end up with like Daenerys and Jon both kind of co-ruling in some way. Like she'll probably be on the Iron Throne in King's Landing and he'll be allowed to be King of the North or something. Maybe I'm being too optimistic. Who knows? But I'm enjoying the season so far, and I'm eager to see what happens with the rest of this season. But for now, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next, and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.